My name is Darian and I'm building out this 2021 Ford Transit luxury camper van that I am taking on the road here very soon. Today I'm going to be adding an additional solar panel to my roof. I previously had three 100 watt solar panels on my rooftop but after doing a little Tetris I am able to make room for one more 100 watt panel so let's get into it. I have a standard length transit van with a roof deck, extra large skylight, and an AC unit installed so there's absolutely no way I could get away with fitting 400 watts of solar on my rooftop if it weren't for these slim solar panels. The one I'm installing today is 15 and 3 quarter inch wide by 50 inches long. I got mine from e-trailer because they have the lowest price on them. And if this isn't slim enough, e-trailer carries an even slimmer panel at 14 inches wide by 60 inches long. I brought it up to the roof just to verify my placement plan before I move my roof rack bars and drill into the panel. I mount my solar on my roof racks 80-20 bars so I had to scoot my front bar back a bit. I used T-slot nuts and brackets to secure my panels to the roof rack, so I got a couple of T-slot nuts in the roof rack bar before tightening it into place. I got my solar panel back in position so I can mark exactly where I need to drill into the panel. These panels do have mounting holes on the bottom of them, but I mount them from the sides. I'm debating if I want to cut the power or not and pull all the solar down from the roof and kind of pre-assemble it in my garage before mounting it to the roof. The issue is the three panels that are already up there are such a pain to take apart because there are multiple brackets holding all three panels together. So I think I'm going to attempt to mount the four panel while it's all up there and see how it goes. If it doesn't work out well, I'll have to cut the power, pull all the solar down, and assemble it in my garage. I will mount the new panel to the roof rack bars with two brackets on each end and I'll tightly secure it to the two parallel running panels. I pre-drill holes to fit M6 bolts through. Then I loosely mount two slotted corner brackets onto each end of the panel. I just got my new solar panel placed on the roof. I just went around quickly and made sure all of my brackets and bolts align where I need them to to mount the panel. Before I mount it though, I need to get it wired. So my current setup is wired in parallel. Right now I have the three panels on a three-way connector. I need to go around and unplug all of my panels from that three-way connector, remove it and replace it with a four-way connector and it should be pretty simple. I just hope that the wire is long enough to reach all four panels. We'll see. Fingers crossed that's not an issue. Before I go any further, I need to get a 10 amp fuse on the positive line of my new panel. Since I'm wired in parallel, each of my panels has their own 10 amp inline fuse. This is an old extra fuse holder I had, so I'm replacing the fuse just in case the old one is bad. This is really easy to do. Once that was prepped, I brought that and my four-way connectors to the roof. I only worked on connecting the positive wires to start just to verify my wires wouldn't be too short, and I'm glad I did because they were in fact a tad too short to reach my new panel. To solve this, I needed to add some slack to one of my panels. To make an MC4 extension cable, I cut two feet of 10 gauge wire, added a male MC4 on one end and a female MC4 on the other end of the positive and negative wires. You need an MC4 crimp tool to do this and for reference, the female copper socket clicks into the male plastic housing piece. The smaller male pin clicks into the female plastic housing.
Once my extension cables were made, I chose to add them to the parallel passenger side solar panel because all of my other solar wiring sits on the driver side of my van. Once all of my positive and negative wires were connected to the four-way connector, I started working on mounting everything. I started with the panel to panel mounting points, running an M6 bolt and washer through one panel, adding a washer, sliding it through the second panel and securing it with a third washer, then lock washer and a nut. Next, I got my brackets nice and snug on my solar panels before mounting my solar setup onto the roof rack using M6 16 millimeter locking hex bolts into pre-installed T-slot nuts. If you notice that my new panel looks a little different than my other three, that's because my first three panels are an old model that's no longer sold. Those were just under 59 inches by 14 inches wide, and the new one is 50 inches long by 15.8 inches wide. If you're looking for a slimmer solar panel, more like my first three, eTrailer has another slim solar panel that's 60 and a quarter inch long by 14 inches wide. I'll link both panels in the description. But one thing you want to keep in mind mind when mixing different solar panels is what the total wattage is going to be once you wire all those together because depending on how you wire them and the difference in the voltage and amps between deferring panels you could actually hurt your total wattage not help it but a good rule of thumb is wiring in parallel is usually the most forgiving option with my setup the new panel is actually really similar in both voltage and amps as my other three panels since i'm wired in parallel I can calculate my total current by adding up the amperage from all four panels and then multiplying that total by the smaller of the two voltages. That brings me to a total of 399.75 watts of solar, which is virtually no effect on my total solar output. And if you're new to van building and solar wiring, another great reason to wire in parallel is that all of your panels will work independently of each other. So if one panel is covered in shade, it has no no effect on the output of the other panels. Whereas if you're wired in series, if one panel is shaded, all of the panels are limited to whatever that shaded panel can produce. I hope that provides some extra context and clears up any concerns or confusion about my setup. Again, I will link those slim solar panels in the description along with the four-way connector and all other supplies I used in my setup. But with all that said, this is actually the last long form video I'll be sharing before I hit the road full time in this van. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the road.